Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 57 in chapter 19. Chapter 19 is about heat, the first law of thermodynamics. So there we need to find the radiation power by a sphere. And it tells us the emissity E is given this constant. Radius is given and the temperature is given. We can convert the unit to Kelvin. So and then we get a function for radiation power from our test book as E phi A T force. The power is force, right? Now we look at there, E is given, phi is a constant, A is the surface. So for the sphere, the surface can be 4 pi r squared. And the T is temperature is given. Therefore, we input the A inside, right? We input the A inside. We get a function look like this one and input all the given quantities, get the answer there, 40 watt. The second one tell you if this sphere is enclosed in a room and this wall is kept at negative 5 degree and ask you what is the net rate of energy out of the sphere. So in this one we can see as we talked about before, right? And we can see T1, this is the temperature for this sphere, 25 centigrade, so we can convert the unit as this one. And finally, it uh, will reach us to the final temperature, negative 5 centigrade. So T2 is a 5, negative 5 centigrade converts the unit to the Kelvin. Now we need to find the, find the net flow rate of energy, still the power, right? Radiation power for this process. So radiation power for this one, we can use this equation. And then it changes from the T1 to T2, right? So we can write it as there and still input the E as a surface for this sphere, 4 pi r squared inside and input all the known quantity, get the answer there. Thank you.